welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, uh, uh, Stan Lab. Coming in, Power, Season 6, Episode 6, Inside mm. Man. We're going to go ahead and apologize right off the rip. It has been an extremely, extremely busy weekend. Yeah. And we're doing this review right after work, so it's going to be short, sweet, to the point. We hope. Because we hear people say that, we say it ourselves, and then it'd be a 40 minute review. Yeah. But we're gonna get right into it. Take it away, baby. Yeah. And another reason why it's gonna be short, because this week I have to take a test for my job. It's come Friday that I have to pass. Yes. So we're gonna have to make it short and sweet. And then we're not sure the rest of the reviews this week when they're gonna come out or if they're gonna come out. So we're kind of playing it's it just out here. Bear with the player. Yeah, so bear with the player, because the player gotta get these licenses for his job so he can have a job. Amen. Yeah. So pretty much this week we picked back up we left off last week that we now got to rescue Mr. Tariq. Now a lot of y'all in the comments was like, <laughs> let I go. don't let him go. We don't believe that Tariq is worth two is million worth two million dollars. I don't either. I hear you. But I know how y'all mamas is, and we always talk about y'all mamas. See it, boys. see, it look a little bit different when it's somebody else's son, but if, if that was your son, Tyrone. We're going to have to do everything necessary at all costs to get him back. Not Tyrone, though. Yeah, Tyrone. We got to get him. He a good person. He never yeah. mess with nobody. He just shot up the whole neighborhood, but exactly. he, he a good person. We got to get him back. Matter of fact, we got to get everybody together. We got to sell chicken dinners. I need about 10 of y'all to put in this pick six number because we got to win this money yeah. and get this boy back. <laughs> so... Ghost and Tommy, of course, y'all was like, in the comments was saying, but you believe that what's going to get Ghost and Tommy back was Tariq. And you was right. Him making the dumb decision. So, Tommy don't want to do it. Uh -uh. But for the sake of Tariq, he called truce. We got to get him back. Yeah, matter of fact, Tommy. Calls. Yeah. So, matter of fact, Tommy was like, I told Tariq to get out of the game anyway. So, I was <laughs> like, okay, so... You gonna renege and turn your back on Tariq now after Tariq left that door open for you to get Proctor? But that's a whole nother story. And then um, Ghost was like, so you knew that my son was in the game and you didn't tell me? He said, we were busy trying to kill, <laughs> kill each, each other. other. <laughs> so what we were gonna do is take a pause break so I can tell you about what your son doing now. Yeah. We was rolling with the punches. Your son was on, I know. Yeah. Let's just try to get this little thing back. So what the plan is, is uh, time is gonna go and buy up a whole bunch of product from Jason, as we saw. Jason asked and Jason, big questions. Yeah, and Jason asking all these questions. I'm like, why you need to know what they're gonna do with the, all the product? All you gotta product know is you gotta money. check. Product yeah. money. You don't need to know the middle. But I was, I was like this. Uh, you know, we paying, uh, getting drugs by checks now. And I understand, you know, you gotta try to clean the money up. But I'm that like, my level, so but I'm gonna like, give you a million dollars of product. Up front, on the basis of a check, <laughs> I, you can't trust people with a ten dollar check. You ain't never lying. <laughs> a million dollar check, though. So the plan is that they're gonna get this million dollar product from Jason, as we saw, and then Go said he got leverage on somebody that he's gonna get the other million. So that leverage was, of course, Councilman Tate, because you know they still got him on the recording because he's skimming money off of the campaign money. Why is it every time that we, as black folk, got <laughs> anything to do with money, we always bucket we up? We dirty as hell. Yeah, we when it comes to us and organizations and money, we always got to mess up the money. But how about this, before we even get ahead of ourselves? How about the fact that Tariq is a pot of his own kidnapping? Yeah. And one million goes to him. And yeah. another million goes to Vincent. So he, so he so figuring. He thinks. <laughs> so he figuring. So I, uh, I thought about a story. I'm not gonna name any names because I don't know who watched the thing. But I, I know some. I knew some individuals. You know, in church, you know, if you want a deacon board, the trustee board, the Where ushers. Where are you going with this? <laughs> each person in there be selected as being the trustee. So that means when you, when everybody pay the dues, you know, you gotta pay all them. You two, three dollar dues. That person will get the money and keep that money in their possession at home. Well, these individuals that I know, when they came up short, they were dipping the treasury to meet expenses for the week. <laughs> and hope they now, want. mind you, as me knowing this as you know a child, I'm like, what if they come in the middle of the week and be like, "Hey, we need that hundred dollars." 
to give that it. the sister so much though because her electrical bill went out. <laughs> and what you gonna tell her? I ain't got it. I've been skimming off the top. Yep. And yeah. Counts for tape. Yeah. So I hope that churches don't do that now. I hope that you know you get that money and turn that money into the main trustee. They don't because I just heard about a story last week. <laughs> But somebody supposed to have turned in the uh, the money for the choir. Yeah, and it didn't get turned in. They ain't never got that choir money, <laughs> and they don't <laughs> had the they don't had the anniversary or anything. They ain't had no new shirts or nothing because everybody God. just ain't never turned up. God darn, we gotta do better. So the plan is to move this product. Uh, Tommy want uh, the crew to sell this stuff for free. And they not feeling it was like we ain't working for a make a wish foundation. Yeah. You, you know what? We can move all this weight. And you say you need to move this weight within 24 hours. Well, you know why we gotta move this weight in 24 hours and then had to do it for free. Yeah, it was like, so and Tom was like, you know, I, I'm not I, answering I, any questions. Yeah, I ain't answering no questions. Do it. But um, this is for Tariq. We gotta get back to Tariq. And so they was like, I don't care. I still wanna get my cut. See, so they were and, like, me buck Tariq. And I use my money. Rivers was like, you know what? I'll do it. We do it for the kids. And of course, you know, when one person fold, everybody be like, you know what, bucket. They I'm, I'm going to do it too. <laughs> I'm going to do it too. So I'm like, okay, y'all going to get together $2 million. Overnight. Overnight. Pushing weight. Why can't we come together like this to make some stuff happen that's legal Hello. in 24 hours? We can barely get people to raise $100 in a week. Hello. Let alone two million dollars in twenty-four hours. So, Ghost goes over to Councilman Tate, shakes him down, say, "I need a million dollars out the account." They gonna <laughs> course, stress Tate out. Yeah, and Cora Council like, first of all, what do you need a million dollars for? And number two, no, because <laughs> <laughs> Ghost never ever tell him what he knew with the money. And so Council was like, no. This is campaign money. If they find if they if they run the accountant on the books and find this money is gone, my campaign is over. All our plans is out the window. Ghost was like, okay, he stood like he was going to walk away, but he said, you remember that recording about you skimming the money off the top? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he did like micro mini pip. Mm -hmm. So he was like, give me the money. I'm gonna have the money back to you in 24 hours. So the boys get the hustling. Uh, ghost, ghost, yeah, ghost hired Dre. And Dre was like, why should I do this for you? And anyway? why should you trust me? And People said, I don't. I don't trust you. So that's why I'm, I don't know the boy name that he Alphonse. got. Alphonse. Alphonse, yeah. So Ghost said, for your incentive to do that, we're going to get your daughter back. So we're going to get um, the councilman to put a good word in for you with social service so you can get your daughter back. And of course, Dre is down for that. So all of them get to working and pushing. I mean, a whole lot of stuff moving and shaking and moving. Mm -hmm. And they pulled it off. They, I, I didn't actually think they was going to pull it off. I thought somebody was going to get popped. That's yeah. what I thought. Because everything was going so smooth. And, you know, it was like, oh, I was like, I they making it look easy. When somebody popped and when somebody going to get killed. And you know, it reminded me of a New Jersey drive. Y'all remember that movie mm -hmm. when they was going around robbing them um, cars and stuff? They made that joint look so easy. And then you saw how that ended. And I see how that, so I was like, where is the crash going to come? You know, what's going to happen? And it came. So they were going to take the money on over to Mr. Vince. No, I'm sorry. The Olive Garden Dope Boys. You're ready to take them the money. <laughs> when somebody said that in the comments last I week, think was, I fell I think out. It's, I think it's she all about the business said that. I said that in the comments. That is too funny. The Olive Garden Dope Boys. So they run. They making a run over to the Olive Garden Dope Boys. And they looking around. Make sure ain't no police is coming. And then they see this car coming up on the left. Wide open. And Here just slam on brazen front. I was like, who in the hell is this? God darn Jason. Knows it, Jason. I'm like, Jason, what you got to do with this money that you, you got paid? You getting your money. Yeah, you got, yeah. So you good. So what's the problem here? So he ended up shaking them down and robbing them for half of the money they worked so hard to get over the last 24 hours. So, so like, uh, like Craig said, we was... Right there. Yeah. So all of that lever was in pretty much in vain. So they had to pretty much go over to Vince and them. <laughs> That's I got the Olive Garden dope boys and be like, we ain't got it. We ain't got it. So now they sitting in front of Jason hmm. telling him we only got half the money. But can we still get Tariq back? <laughs> hey, you know him. He's like, like, no. The deal was $2 million 
in exchange for Tariq. So the whole time when they was talking, trying to negotiate, Vincent is putting some freaking Florida <laughs> oranges inside of a bag. And I was like, oh no, he ain't fitting to do that. A thin line to yeah, and I'm like, come on now. I was like, all right now. So. He put uh, a lot of it. Yeah, he put a whole lot of them. So Ghost, I'm like, what you gonna do with them oranges? So he was eating them, kept stuffing them. And Tariq was looking like, yeah, this ain't this part, ain't part of the plan. Why he gonna take them oranges and kept busting got doing Tariq and his got doing chest? And I said, good for you, bro. Because you ain't running scared yeah, down here. Yeah, exactly. So. He shows you that you thought you got over him. You thought that you were gonna work out a deal with him, and your daddy was gonna come through with the two million, which they did. But they got, but Jason yeah. took it from him and caused you to get your goddamn home posh whoop. And I'm glad about it. So Vincent decided to restart the clock and give you 24 more hours. That was that Christian in it. Yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need 24 more hours to get me back. To get me, I, I guess, the other half. I guess. Yeah. Uh, the other million, so they got to go back to the drawing board. And old little Tariq was like, wait, 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 before I go there. Tariq was like, that wasn't a part of the plan. He was like, you stiffing me wasn't part of the plan either. So he said, now it's my plan. Now it's my plan. Uh-huh. So they go back to the drawing board, so they go on back and forth, back and forth. But by this time, uh, I forgot to mention this part because Ghost still had never told Tasha that Tariq was missing. <laughs> And that's why she be so pissed off at him. And when she confront him, he's like so nonchalant yeah. about it. He was like, well, you know, I was busy trying. Vincent got him. Vincent got him. You know, we, we got to get him back. Like, like he over at his grandma house. So she comes storming over a time. It's like, when you, when you going to tell me that Tariq was missing? Huh? And got kidnapped. And that's when he got made off all the lame excuses. So they sitting there trying to plan how they going to put him up, get this move. Uh, because it can't go back to Jason and get no more product. And so, uh, Tommy was like, well, we can get some more product from somewhere else and I can get my boys to move it again. I was like, I doubt that because they didn't even want to move the first batch for free. Yeah. Then you're going to try to get them to go and do that for 24 hours again? What? So, Tasha and uh, what you call it got to arguing because whatever the plan is going to be, they need somebody yeah, to clean the money. And... Tasha was like, no, it's going to go through my daycare. This is my son. I need to play a part in this. You know, when he get rescued, I got to let him know his mama ran the money through he the got going shop. Be crazy. Yeah. So she ain't ready. She, like we mm -hmm. said, she, she definitely ain't ready. So what the ultimate plan is, they're going to have a party at Truth for Taste Campaign. And they're going to bring in all these high donors. And so once they start donating, they're going to come in there and they're going to rob the place. I was like, hmm. I don't in know. conjunction with, with Tasha yeah. getting drugs from that dude that stuck her up for protection. Exactly. For her entering the block. That's right. And she had um, Epiphany running them Jones in the strip club. She was running them though. She had she had about 10 of them it's running for her, boy. Always good yep. to have you a ghetto chick in yep. your clutch. Exactly. She said, as long as I can keep dancing, I can you I can keep the weight being pushed. Now, I'm trying to tell you, you better keep you a ghetto person, a few yep. ghetto people in the clutch. Yep. They come through every time. Somebody to click off on a dime. They ain't got much to yeah. lose. Yep. They don't care. Just come get them out. We got quite a few of y'all in the comments that's like that. <laughs> y'all like click it. off, baby. And we yeah. love it. Some of y'all were like, y'all, hey, y'all want me to go to Huntsville? Uh -huh. Yeah. We <laughs> yep. We seen you. Uh, so, that gets to this party. Everything going good. Donations being made. Everybody doing their part. Everybody talking good about Councilman Tate. That he going to be the perfect man for, you know, to be the councilman of New York. He going to clean up stuff, fix the drugs. and Everything going good. And then the plan goes down. And always take a ninja to go out and work. To, to do extra and mess everything up. So they were supposed to come in there, get the stuff, and leave. But now, nah, what the name was? Anton. Al Fines decided that he wanted to talk to our girl from DC. I recognized you. And Ghost come out to be like, brother, you just need to leave. You got what you want. You're going too far. He was sending them cold words. You're going too far. You need to leave. 
He insists that he want to still prick, um, keep on pushing the goddamn envelope a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. And Ghost kicked in and he gave uh, Councilman his gun so he could become the distraction. Strategy. Yep. So now he distracting the boy and Councilman came from behind him. Because Councilman, I didn't know this. He was a police officer. I didn't know that. Yeah, did did y'all know that? Or I didn't know just miss that. Yeah, that just like went clean on my head. So I was like, he gonna she gonna shoot the boy. He been in the cabin. He, I know it's been ten years, but like your granddaddy, he might have been out in the woods for years, but he still had a shot on him. So Councilman ended up taking the boy out, but Ghost made sure that won't on him, which was a smart move. It was smooth. Yeah. So you let the expert, and pretty much he got. Um, Councilman got a whole lot of credit for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That worked yeah. out for his benefit. It worked out for his and benefit. Even, yep. Wasn't that Ramona? She was like, it's so funny how this just kind of worked out the uh -huh. way that it did. And Coast was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't think it was a good plan at first. And I'm like, I'm like, you're going to bring that kind of heat to your club? And you just were talking last week that nobody ever be at the club. Now this week, this week, the club is packed. And now they have a robber, so you ain't never gonna have nobody else at the club now. <laughs> Say them dead gonna brown um, liquor bottles gonna have dust on them. <laughs> yep. So they pretty much pulled it off. They still end up getting getting the cash, and for some kind of way, I maybe I might have missed it that the money got back and takes account. Yeah. And because they were short. You know, they were short because the moment Tate confronted um Ghost was like, "Hey, brother." It's been 24 hours. <laughs> well, I need that money back before they check that because like I told you, if they find out, we ain't got no more campaign. But when they got to the party, he come and shaking his hands like, brother, you came through. Thank you for putting the money and back Ghost in the was looking like, How did you do it? I was like, Ghost was looking like I didn't do it. Yeah, so I'm like, I don't know how the money got back. Maybe the Lord did it. <laughs> did. Matter of fact, that brings me to another story. Oh, God. This is when I was in, I was in school and I was a waiter. And I had to deposit my money in my checking account to pay my car payment. But me, on Fridays and Saturdays, I like to go out and party. So I went to the bank. I had my car payment money right on the dime. And mama told me, you better not touch that money. <laughs> and me, soon Friday come in, I met the ATM. Boop, 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 took out $20. I knew I was going to be sold on my car. And my car payment actually got paid. Guess what happened, y'all? When I withdrew the money, the money didn't come out of my account balance, but the machine gave me twenty dollars. <laughs> Can we try that today? <laughs> I wish it could happen, but that ain't the first time I heard that. I heard a whole lot of people that done did that, but see, their situation was you know legit. Mine was <laughs> just I was just being a reckless kid. <laughs> I didn't care. I just wanted mm -hmm. to turn up for the weekend, have enough money to buy me some beer. Well, get somebody else to buy me some beer, and yeah, and the money was still there. I, yeah, miracle. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened to ghosts. So, <laughs> so now uh, the word got back because um, uh, Bianca and the other chick I can't think I of can't remember her name. Yeah, yeah, you know from from the police station. Y'all know uh, they want to talk to Tariq. They want to interview Tariq about you know what he saw at the house. You know he was at the penthouse, and so they had to work out a deal with Vincent. To uh, pretty much sit down and talk about that. Um, it really didn't make a whole lot of hill of beans to me because Tariq acted his tail off. He, he did. He is, he is, he is definitely Ghost's son. He could come up with a story out his A quick. And he was, it was like, you know, why did you leave the penthouse? Um, out, why, the back door. out the back door. The lock was turned like you was, it meant the left open so somebody could come in there. And he was like, you know, the reason I wanted the back door is this white dude. He that's, a race car <laughs> yeah, like that's jealous. Don't understand why we get to live in this penthouse. So I was going out the back so I can avoid him. So I had to deal with he him. He said it's not fair. But Bianca, she didn't buy none of that booze kit. Uh -huh. <laughs> she did. And I'm like, okay, so now he leave and you're going to go back and get in the truck that ain't y'all's. Like, they're not going to see that. And Vince was like, no, you can't get in here either, Tasha. Said your work is done. Yeah. So, pretty much we get pretty much to the end of the episode where uh, they were time to go make the exchange to get back to Tariq. But uh, uh, Tariq had told uh, his mama that pretty much once that Vincent get the money, he going to kill all of us. 
So she took that information back to Ghost, and Ghost was like, we need to get some more leverage. Mm -hmm. So when they went to go make the exchange, and I was like, okay, y'all are here, y'all got the money. Um, but they took they took one of his guys, but I was like, most of the time that really don't work because yeah. they will kill one of their own to get what they on going. and keep it moving like it ain't nothing. They could be their cousin, they'll put a bullet right between his eyes to get to make the deal. Mm -hmm. So now remember me lawn then, y'all. Yep. My eyeball mom, eating joke. He will kill you and eat your eyeballs <laughs> while he talking to the next dude. <laughs> so they pull up, so they got his man. So they make the exchange, and I was like, this is going a little bit too easy. They gave up Tariq easy. They gave up his guy real easy. This thing you know it, Vince was like, nope, you ain't going nowhere, players. And all these lights come on, all these dudes with a bunch of guns. And I'm like, here we go. Where is the leverage at, Ghost? Where is the leverage at? And about three seconds later, Ghost said, uh, Vincent, we fit in the lead here. We getting up out of here. <laughs> and Vincent was like, no, you ain't. And boom, guess who show up? God don't bet. And he folded, Vincent folded, right under his God don't know. He was like, if you ain't fitting, Ben was like, if you ain't fitting to have a war with me and my crew, gone. Because matter of fact, Tariq, I owe him one. He brought back um, Proctor's daughter to me without a scratch. <laughs> so I owe it to him. So you let him go. So if you don't want a war, let him go. Vince was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, put a gun away. <laughs> Them jokers left. But here was the kicker that was there. When Benny was talking to Ghost, he was like, you know, uh, uh, I was willing to do this. I was willing to do this because um, before Proctor died, I mean, not, no, no. Let me get that right. <laughs> uh, Ghost had told um, Benny that Proctor had mentioned. Uh, this this, case, this case he was on that was gonna pretty much he was hiding out at my place to get away from this person in this case to protect him and his daughter, and because that was a deal for him for um, Benny to even come over to meet them with that spot for the leverage, and the whole time that they were talking about Benny brought it back up and said yeah we good now you know you get Ghost gave me the name, and Tommy was sitting there looking like oh, but yeah. I never thought. That Ghost didn't know at this point that Tommy Me killed Proctor. So I automatically thought that Ghost knew that for some reason. I, I don't know why I just put that together. Because he usually knows everything. Yes. But he didn't know. So we found out that he didn't know because when he got back home, because it looked like he lived with Tasha now. Cause he ain't in got the apartment no. <laughs> that he was dogging in out. In the deluxe apartment in the sky. Mm. Uh, he said, Tasha, uh... Time to kill Proctor. She was like, what? Like, yep. So I was like, okay. So now what's going to happen? So we got Tariq back. And we then, back to status quo now. And then when he said, and Tariq helped him. Yeah, and Tariq and Tasha was, was like, like, what? And Natasha was like, yep, mm -hmm. he did. Yep. I know my son and I know when he's lying and he made up this whole elaborate story. Yep. He did. Yep. So now they're like, our son is a natural born killer. killer. I mean, of course he is. The apple don't fall too far from the creek. Mm -hmm. So then we switch over and we see Tommy and Keisha talking. And Keisha like, I'm sick of them. We ain't doing nothing else for them. And da -da -da, you know, she's still going on with she her bullet. She take a bullet to, to go. So I'm yeah, like, I was like, you, you ain't about that even, life. You can't even discard a gun properly yeah. without really skitting your clothes. So, and then Tom was like, Ghost know I killed Proctor. And she was like, well, you know what you need to do. And he was like, yeah. So I'm like. So now we walk away with this misunderstanding. Yeah. That, and Tommy, you should know about it. Because if you thought that Benny knew that you had killed his cousin, you wouldn't have walked away from that scene either. Exactly. He, he wasn't going to chase you down and hunt you down for fun. He yep. took you out right there. But. To Thomas' defense, he really can't trust Ghost right now because you remember Ghost trying to shoot him up twice. They don't try to shoot with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, it's no really no trust right now. So, so now we're back at odds again. So we're going back to war again. But y'all, I, I, I failed to mention in the beginning, we still grieving over Proctor, though. It's still, it, it, the episode was good, but it won't be the same without Proctor being present, man. Cause nah, because you say at this point he'll come together like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> 
So you see, you see, killing people. So usually y'all gotta run y'all plans through him. And y'all ain't got nobody to run your plans through no more. So that when it, if it go buck, you ain't got nobody to get you off. So I don't know if y'all gonna hire a new lawyer. No. You know, maybe y'all. Thirsty. Y yeah, that's who they need. Is thirsty. You know. Thirsty for grandpa. <clears throat> so. Yeah, that's it, y'all. Like you said, we really enjoyed the episode. I enjoyed the family yeah. being together, yeah. doing crime once again. Exactly. And let me tell you something, Keisha, because you ain't ready for this life. You bucking the books up already. Yep. Tasha got to come behind you and tell you how many blow draws to put on the airport. Yep. I ain't got time. I don't have time. Get all y'all locked up. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty stuff. Two up, two down. Holla. Uh -huh.